Hey everyone, this is J7Jace here, bringing you a quick video on the Lion War mod for the original PS1 version of Final Fantasy Tactics. I'll drop a link in the description below to the FF Hacktics website for more info. This mod has been in the making for nearly a decade and the team there has done a wonderful job. And I believe they are still trying to do a few things, such as the translation to match the Warp of the Lions version on the PSP and iOS, and also sound novels. So a huge shout out and credit to them. If I ever win the lottery or become a multimillionaire, I'm definitely going to compensate them very well. So what exactly is the Lion War mod? In short, it aims to bring features and additions from the War of the Lions release of the game into the PS1 version with a few other things. Which can lead to another question. Why would I want to play this version when I can play War of the Lions? Well, that's another great question. The rendezvous mode exclusive to the PSP can only be played by two players with two PSPs or through the ad hoc party application on the PlayStation 3. And in the iOS or Android version, it was taken out entirely. There are other ways to set it up, but it seems more often than not unreliable most of the time. With this mod, you can play these battles from the main menu on the world map. Just go to Brave Story and hit the top option, Bonus Content. Here, you can play these missions, which are unlocked through various points in the game. But unlike the PSP version, your units can die permanently, have their equipment stolen and or broken. You are also limited to five party members instead of six, but these are good and fun challenges and you get to manually control everyone yourself without the need of a teammate. Another thing to add is that there is no new War of the Lions equipment in this game, including Tiny Rouge. Some may like this, and some may not. I'm somewhere in the middle as I started off with the PSX version, and some of the new things like Brave Suit are just downright overpowered. They did add Dark Knight as a generic job, and they have the same abilities for the most part. They did change the area of effect and animation of Abyssal Blade, but I don't mind this. Even the support abilities as well, but I find Adeptness and Sturdy to be better than HP Boost and Vehemence. Another very important thing I want to add are the sound effects, or sounds. In my humble opinion, all the sounds on the PS1 version were better than both versions of War of the Lions. Some people were saying that the iOS or Android versions fixed quote unquote, all the sounds from the PSP release, but I don't think so. Here are some clips that compare the sounds, and I will let you decide. With that being said, and the clips shown, I call bull. These are a few among several examples, but I think the original does it best with the sounds by far. Another thing I did like about the original were the unit quotes or text said before certain spells and abilities, as you can see here. This was taken out in War of the Lions in both versions, which I found kind of weird. In the PSP remaster of Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together, which is the predecessor and game that paved the way for Final Fantasy Tactics, they left it in for their abilities. As for the reason why, I'm not totally sure. Some other notable changes are that instead of Lucio Clemens from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, we now have Ashley Riot from Vagrant Story. As to why, Here's a screenshot from the person who uploaded the Ashley Riot recruitment mission, which can be quite hard of a fight. It reads out, The main reason was that he wasn't unique enough. His skill set is the same as Ramza, and they decided that it would be better to add a more unique unit that already had some connection to Evelys instead of him, who was only added because of FFTA2, was released close to the same date 
as War of the Lions. Second was that the author for this mod was not very fond of FFTA, so he never really cared for Luso. So I did change some of the words in that comment, but sad. I kind of like Luso, but I do agree. He was essentially a Ramza clone with Poach, who lacked female magic growth rates. They did get rid of Onion Knight, which wasn't too bad as far as I'm concerned, as the Onion Knight's main use was for deleveling and releveling units, but even then it was more of a hassle since you needed wild boars to do it. Lastly, I do love the added features of being able to bench units, as this frees up some roster space and our monsters won't be laying eggs like crazy. So I get to keep Boko now. Although I wish his stats were better and weren't up to RNG. These are some of the changes I really like and highlighted in this video. I will put a link in the description below to FF Hactics as they do deserve all the credit for this. This is an awesome way to play Tactics and those guys deserve nothing but love and I do plan on uploading some videos on the line more in the future. As always, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you love Final Fantasy Tactics and I'll see you all next time.